this problem we want to find the zeros of the polynomial function. So we got f of x is equal x to the third plus 9x minus 10. Now to find the zeros means we set this equal to zero and we solve it. So we got x to the third plus 9x minus 10 equal to zero. Now we're going to use our calculator. We'll put our polynomial on y1 and zero on y2. So I'll press y equals, press clear, and we've got x to the third, so we'll do x caret 3. If you're on a new RT84, remember to do a right arrow key to get out of exponent mode. Plus 9x minus 10. And down arrow to y2, press clear, and then put a zero there. Probably already had one, but... Okay, now we're going to do second trace. We'll choose intersect, number 5. And it looks like our answer is 1, but let's go through that just to verify it. Do enter on first curve, enter on second curve, and let me put 1 in for the guess. So I'll put 1 and press enter. Comes back and tells us intersection is x equals 1. That's pretty obvious by looking at it. Okay, so we're going to take the one answer we found via the calculator, we're going to plug it into synthetic division. Now, we put the 1 in the box in the upper left hand corner. Now our largest power is x to the third, so across the top we're going to write x to the third, x squared, x, no x. Usually you don't make those big, it's just kind of a way to make sure it's in standard form, you're not missing any powers. Well a number in front of x to the third is a 1, there is no x squared so that's a 0, number in front of x is a 9, and our no x or constant term is negative 10. Now we're going to go through a series of adding, multiplying over and over until we're done. Start with the leftmost column. 1 plus nothing is 1. Then we're going to multiply. You always multiply by number up in a box, by number you just put down there. 1 times 1 is 1. Then we want to add. 0 plus 1 is 1. Then we want to multiply. You always multiply by a number in a box, by number you just put down there. 1 times 1 is 1. Then we want to add. 9 plus 1 is 10. Then multiply. You always multiply by a number up in a box, by number you put down there. 1 times 10 is 10. And then you add negative 10 plus 10 gives us 0. Now 0 there means that we found an answer. We found a 0, uh, which we already knew. The calculator told us it was one of our answers. The calculator tells you it's an answer. You better get 0 as a remainder. Well, we started out as x to the third. This is now x squared. This is x. And this is no x. So we're left with x squared plus x plus 10 equal to 0. Now this won't factor, uh, so we have to use the quadratic formula. A is going to be whatever number is in front of our x squared, which is 1. B is going to be whatever number is in front of our x, which is 1. And C is our number at the end, which is 10. Quadratic formula says x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now we're going to go through and we'll replace all of our variables with sets of parentheses before we plug in our numbers. So we've got negative parentheses plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. Again, everything else in our formula remains exactly the same. I just replaced the variables with parentheses. Now we said a was 1, so everywhere we have an a we'll put 1. We said b was 1, so everywhere we have a b, we'll put in 1. And we said c was 10, so everywhere we have a c, we'll put in a 10. Well, negative 1, plus or minus, square root, 1 squared is 1, minus 4 times 1 times 10, that's 40, all over 2 times 1, which is 2. That gives us negative 1, plus or minus, 1 minus uh, 40 is negative 39, over 2. Now whenever you have a negative in front of, inside your radical, it's going to come out as an i. So uh, we're going to have an i square root of 39 all over 2. Now 39 doesn't break in down any. 39 is 3 times 13. And both of them are primes, so we can't bring anything out. But since we came out with an i, we want to split this into two separate pieces. So I'll put the real part over our denominator. So we've got negative 1 over 2 plus or minus, 
and then the square root of 39 over 2 with an eye to the side. Standard form says your real part should be separate from your imaginary part. Um, now we found one answer via the calculator, this x equals 1, and we just found the other two answers um, by using synthetic division and then the quadratic formula. The plus or minus here is where accounts for the other two answers. So those are our three answers.